Hey, I'm Jim Mage Cave. Uh, I got a lot of traffic noise. <laughs> That's the neighbor. He yeah, he likes a round truck. But anyway, this is John Deere 357 foot. I go through every mower that we sell on eBay. Personally, myself. I've been fooling with mowers since I'm 67. Been doing this fooling with cycle mowers since I was oh, about 12. But anyway, this mower has new guards. That's the rock guards out here. It has new sickle sections. That's these sections of blades, a lot of people call them. And this sickle is bolted in. I decided to try a bolted sickle this time. I usually rivet them, but I decided on a bolted one this time. Your wire plates are underneath the sickle there. That's what the sickle rubs on. You can't see them. And they're in new. These are the sickle bar hold downs. They're in new. This is a new aftermarket grass board. It's not John Deere. It's painted to match. Has a new belt on it. New shield on the PTO. Lock nuts are being used everywhere that they're necessary, like on the grass deflectors come to mind, the guards, the shoes, the grass board. If they don't have lock nuts on them, they come loose on you about every 15 minutes on the 15 minutes. You get that far. And the way this thing works, this bolt pins in the draw bar. That thing there rocks is what floats the bar, makes the spring work. This is your trip chain. If the mower trips, that catches it then before it does damage. And it's a good smooth, good smooth mower. And I know it's right because I do my work myself. And I've been doing this for about nine years on eBay. And all through the summer, I like to put some nice mowers on eBay and sell them to the people that want them. And if you like a John Deere, then here's a good one. Now we're going to take it out and see if it mows, and I'm going to bet it will. I'm going to pause till he gets to where he's going to mow, and then we'll sh we'll tape it mowing. Here he goes. He's going to mow some tall grass. And he forgot to mention a while ago, the reason that PTO shield is so important, besides safety, is if you don't have a shield on the PTO and you go mowing tall stuff like this, you'll spend most of your time getting grass off the PTO shaft because it will wind right up on it. Okay. Following with the zoom, so hopefully you can see that grass are coming down. It's doing its thing. Okay. I'm going to pause till he gets to the next place he's going to mow. There he goes down the next row. And it's coming down too, like it's supposed to. Just like it's supposed to. He does go through every mower we list himself, so he knows it's done right. Okay, I'm gonna pause again while he moves. Go. And here's this John Deere 350. 
And the tank is my bike. Well, it's my bike. Okay, she's gonna let it down because it's the tractor's vibrating too much. You can't hear nothing. Okay, that's better. Okay, there we go. Now you can hear. It's Jim again. She's taking a final shot there of it. Reason I put those parts on there. It's every mower I set up like I want to use it myself. Mm -hmm. And if you buy one without those parts that I put on there, you'll soon find out why I send them out like that. If your sections are not right, your wire plates aren't right. Your hold downs aren't right, then you got a great big pile of headache. That's right. And especially if you're new with sickle bars, you're not going to have a clue what to do. And then you're going to be at a bunch of expense and running and trying to find and putting stuff on it that I've already put on there for you. So, in other words, Jim takes the headache out of it for you, and you can yeah. just go mow. Yeah, just go mow. As you saw in the video, this one mows. That's some thick grass out there. I'm kind of proud of it. <laughs> well, we're signing off now for J&C Farm Equipment. Thanks for looking.